So as a product manager, uh, like I work with our design team and our engineering team and customer support team and marketing to figure out like what are the needs of our members that aren't being met yet and how can we so solve those. So we, this was like an area where like we recognize that like, well, people really want to have a sense of community and really want to interact with each other. So how can we solve that in a way that works both for them and for us as a company? And so you could, you know, when we, when we recognize the problem, that solution could go in like a hundred different directions. And so part of the product manager's job is to kind of help narrow that down with, along with the designers and engineers, and the rest of the team. So. Welcome to the Superset Podcast, episode 35. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. Hey, before we dig into this, we should probably uh, um, let people know, in case they care, Yeah, we're going to be in Boston. We are. We so, are. So uh, over Thanksgiving weekend, so we're going to get together with some listeners uh, of the other podcast. But if you listen to this one and not that one and you live in Boston, like reach out. We'd love to have you too. Yeah, we'd we love to meet you. We won't make you feel weird for being a tonal person we love not a tonal. peloton people because i'm a tonal person not a peloton people so it'd just be me and you sitting there talking like no we'll, i would talk to you we'll ignore I, all the peloton no, nerds no, I, I, and it'll just be i the, would be would, the cool tonal kids i would talk i would talk to you because well, you could talk to the people that have pelotons and tonals okay uh, can can i just talk to any of them no oh no okay well, i'll sit there and wave at you okay <laughs> but try to keep it down all right i'm hanging with my tonal peeps all right all okay right. Speaking of tonal peeps, I'm kind of sad now, but okay. <laughs> okay, you can talk to me. It's Thanksgiving. Yay! <laughs> We're kicking off the Christmas season, so let's. We didn't do it even right. say when it was. Uh, I well, it, I said over Thanksgiving weekend. What's the Saturday? November twenty seventh. November twenty seventh. Fogo de Chao. Fogo de Chao. Which I, we're probably not saying right, but it's a Bra not. Brazilian steakhouse. Yes. And uh, yeah. So I apologize to any of our Portuguese speaking listeners mm -hmm. if I slaughtered that. Yeah. So, um, but if you happen to listen to this podcast because you're interested in tonal, but you haven't pulled the trigger yet, or if you have a friend who's interested in tonal and hasn't pulled the trigger yet, their biggest sale of the year is going on right now. Right now. Until November 29th, you can get $250 off. Wow. And you get it shipped in one to three weeks. This is the Black Friday sale. Do not miss it. Yes. So I thought we should just tell everybody. Because I, I do know that there are some people that they're like not sure until they, they listen to the podcast. I'm going to get a feel because it's an investment. So if, Absolutely it if is. you're worried about an investment, here's a way to save a little bit of, bit of cash. Yes. So uh, I guess beyond big savings... What do you have in store for people this week? Well, we got to talk about all the new content. We got to talk about the tonal talks. There's new people hired that we need to address in a good way. That sounded kind of ominous. Yeah, so I had to like, like pull it back. You're in trouble, new person. <laughs> no. <You're off>. No. <laughs> Step into our office. There's some stuff that we uh, like to, to hit on in case you missed it. And uh, I think that's about it. Okay. Well, before we get to all that shameless plugs, don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you find a podcast, you can find us. While you're there, be sure and rate, review, and follow us so you never miss an episode. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Superset Podcast. Uh, while you're there, like the page and join the group. And of course, if you would like to watch these episodes instead of listen to them, you can do that at YouTube. Just go to youtube.com slash the clip out, which is the name of our other show. But everything lives under one umbrella there. Um, and uh, yeah, they're all there in beautiful HD. And there's a nice little playlist that's dedicated to the superset. Folks. Yes. So you don't have to be bothered with the other stuff. No. If you don't care about it, you mm -mm. can just binge the superset. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, there's all that. Let's uh, let's dig in, shall we? We shall. New tonal content. As always, there is tons of new content. So much, so much 
has has dropped as usual. There was new strength, strong and smart with Coach Nicolette. There was a warm up and go with Coach Nicolette. Only 11 minutes full body. Love that. New meditation, uh, which, you know, I, I, I think that you had this separated out. My fault. Some of them were, were <laughs> uh, duplicated. But this mental warm up and mental cool down with Coach Allison, like you might think that that is silly or not a big deal or just be dismissive of it. Uh, don't be. Uh, it, you know, I had a, a really rough morning the other morning. I was really not feeling it. And I did this mental warm up with Coach Allison and I killed my run. So thank you, Coach Allison. That? Yes. There's also a new boot camp, the triple threat boot camp with Coach Trace. Oh my gosh. I did this one too. Yes. It really is a triple threat. Also, thought I was going to die by the end. Um, <laughs> It, it's all body weight. So this is great if you are traveling. So that's perfect for people that are on the go over the holidays. Yeah. And it is a full body workout in 32 minutes. You will crush it. Okay. New boxing. Uh, next level boxing with Coach Woody. Another full body workout in only 21 minutes. And then there is new mobility. The pre-run mobility with Coach Jared. You cannot get enough pre-run mobility that's fantastic what if you don't run well you could do it for any cardio activity <laughs> it would still work tom okay uh there's also a new recovery slower and stronger with coach jared new pilates glutes and inner thigh burnout with coach francis ow that's all i have to say to that <laughs> also new yoga vinyasana with for endurance with coach francis that's a full body 36 minute long that is tons of stuff. I know. I gotta say, it's great that I mean, just every week there's like 15 new things. I know, and then all of the new live workouts on top of it. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's not technically new content, but no, but uh, we don't have a fancy sweeper for like helper videos, <laughs> yeah. and and so. Um, so there are helper videos. There are. And I, I really feel like you should call these out because the thing is, is that people, especially when people are new, they right. don't know what all the amazing things do that are on tonal. Right. And, and uh, it's really important that we share these with them. So there are new explainer videos for all of the following topics, spotter, burnout, chains, smart flex, eccentric, arm movement, content types, and smart accessories i mean i love that they're very helpful so for so instance helpful. i was getting ready to do a workout and i was going to do burnout right mm -hmm. and so i went down there i had on a denim jacket mm -hmm. i had drawn a metallica logo on the back with mm -hmm. sharpie mm -hmm. i had a pair of Mar i had a pack of marlboro lights were they like rolled up uh, yeah i yeah. was ready to go i right. had a big comb in my back pocket okay and then i found out that's not what burnout means. No, not not even not even a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And so which is relief because I was like, I don't even smoke. And right. I was like, this seems counterintuitive. But if that's what you Tonal just, wants me you to felt do, like that's what you needed to right. do. And I'm just like, I don't feel like I don't feel like my mobility will be best in the denim jacket. Plus, I would sweat a lot. But I'm like, hey, I uh, don't what question denim. Oh, yeah. it was so oh I saw wet denim open for suicidal tendencies. They were so good. That's a real band name. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and scene <laughs> but anyway these videos i'm sure come in very handy they do they tell you how to use all of these different uh these different advanced modes plus like the arm movement that seems so obvious whenever you've used tonal for a while but remember the first time you walked up to the machine and you were like ah what do these things do how do i move them and so this video walks you through how to move them how to stow them etc i remember the first time i walked away from the machine and i immediately took a nap yes you did <laughs> yes you did i have never seen anybody do that it was the funniest thing i've ever seen i mean you you did the the beginner video and then promptly laid just, down and took a nap i've never assessment. seen that you were still working out and i was like oh. i had to step over you to work out to I was, finish it, my workout it was part of your mobility <laughs> exercise it was a stretching thanks for helping you're welcome okay new tonal features so crystal wanted me to do a disclaimer about this segment too mm -hmm. in case there are any attorneys listening so this is <laughs> technically not new features but it's about a feature and it's how you can help 
tonal with an existing feature. Yes. But again, there's only so many sweepers we can afford. Right. It's yes. true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have to. We have to pay people to say fancy things. Yes. Um, so here's the deal. Um, th- Kate wanted to put out Well I don't think it was just Kate Tonal wanted to put out a uh, survey To get some feedback about the social zone Within the workout So for those of you who's had a chance To do the live workouts There is a social zone And it's across the top of your trainer And it's like how you interact with other members So if you see people you know You can high five them If they get a PR you can high five them That's how you get shout outs Etc. So this whole survey is about that And it came out uh, on November 3rd I wanted to make sure people saw it Because I don't know how long the survey is going to be open But I want to make sure that we all get a chance To give our feedback Because it's a lovely feature And I and I love the way Tonal listens to our feedback And then makes changes as necessary Absolutely It's so cool It's your moment to be heard Mm-hmm and if you're wondering, you can find that link either in the Superset group or you can find it on the official Tonal community. And that is where you would be taking your survey. Tonal Talks. So uh, there are a few uh, Tonal Talks. Yeah, I mean, always Tonal There's Talks. There's always Tonal Talks, but it's more of like a recap of what's out there or what will be out there soon. Yeah, and I I feel like they're all amazing, but there are some that just like stand out and I want to make sure people don't miss them. Like the one I was on. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. That is exactly what I was thinking. Except I was also thinking um, about this one that happened on November 3rd. It was the science of lasting motivation with Dr. Michelle Seeger or Seeger. Um, And uh, I don't know why I said cigar because it's Bob (laughs) Seeger. And I feel like it's probably pronounced the same as Bob Seeger. Anyway, Dr. Michelle Seeger went in depth talking about the the entire like how do you how do you keep motivation lasting? Because it's it's not something that just pops up. You have to like (laughs) make that happen. Right. It doesn't just happen. That's that has to be. It has to be cultivated. It has to be grown. So if you missed it and you might be struggling with motivation, this is a perfect tonal talk for you to listen to. Also, there was one to help you gear up for the holidays. Yeah, this is another one. Tonal talk, happy and healthy holidays. This one takes place on November 10th. Uh, So make sure that you miss it or make sure you don't. (laughs) Miss it Well it will probably already have happened by the time this episode comes out Oh yeah I guess it is the 8th um, Yeah there's a good chance that that is the case Tom That's a very good point But in case you get to hear it uh, In case you, you don't get to hear it live Don't worry because Kate posts all of these And so you can go find it out on the official Tonal community But this is a great way to stay To, to like find out ways to stay focused Or Not stay focused but be okay With the fact that you're not staying focused I mean sometimes things just pull us away Life is busy you can't always Do all the things during the holidays And I think this year is going to be weird Yeah especially as like We're kind of going back To doing regular things In a modified fashion So uh, it'll, it'll be interesting To see and then now we have all those family Members that may not agree with us whatever side You might be on yeah and uh, it could get real Crazy real crazy folks so You know listen to coach Natalie And prepare so you can have happy And healthy holidays so this was a post that was about the science of lasting motivation that we just mentioned a minute oh, ago. Sorry. Um, but I wanted to bring it to everybody's attention because uh, it's from one of our coaches, Coach Pablo. You know. Heard of him? Yeah, I know you have. Okay. I know you have. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, he posted this about how he struggles with motivation and he has struggled lately. Um, and so even though Tonal is in his home, even though it takes the tedious work out of it, it's not always easy to be motivated. I I just loved that he was so um, real yeah, about totally. the fact that like not every moment is like rah, 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 even yeah. for our coaches. Even for people that do it professionally. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, I think that's empowering. And I think that that's a reality check for the rest of us. And I feel like people need to hear it. I concur wholeheartedly. Checking in with the Tonal Team. So a uh, 
a tonal community member has been promoted to employee. How cool is that? Eric Rosen started his new job at Tonal today. He is a senior software and content program manager. Uh, and Kate posted that they are excited to have his passion and enthusiasm on the Tonal team. Welcome to Tonal. I love that. Yes. I love that. Congrats, Eric. That's awesome. And they got the whole family there in the picture. They do. Love it. Kate, if you're listening, we should have Eric on the show. <laughs> She's like, let him work long enough to know something. <laughs> in case you missed it. So if you live in the L.A. area and would like to hang out with Kate, you are in luck. And I'm jealous <laughs> yeah, because Kate is heading to L.A. She's been living in the desert for three months while having work done on her house. And uh, so she is looking forward to hanging out with some people in L.A. I'm I'm OK. I'm OK. <laughs> I'll be all right. You don't sound all right. I, I'm a little I'm a little not all right. And we should be clear because in her post, she says, hey, L.A. friends. But she doesn't do L period a period. She does L at capital L capital A. So it don't fly to Louisiana. No. To hang out with Kate because she will not be she there. She will not be there. She will be in Los Angeles. But she did say that she is hoping to recreate these experiences across the country until she can get to meet all 23,647 of us. Kate World Tour. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Kate, you can stay here. You can stay in our house when you when you do a drive-by of St. Louis. And drive-bys are what St. Louis does best. It's true. It's true. We're on all the lists. Always. <laughs> and then uh, Tonal had some tips for you in the Tonal community, which is nice to uh, refresh these every once in a while. Like if you're a longtime Tonal user, these are things you might already know. But as people, as new people come into the fold, they need to know things like this. Yeah, like your twisted smart handles. And I'll tell you what, I know how to untwist them. And every once in a while, I'm like, wait, how do I do this again? I've seen this video. I still can't figure out how to untwist them. I'm like, I turn it this way or this way. And then, and then when you I'm just like, you just flipped fixed. All I know is every time I do it, I must do it the exact opposite way because I make them worse. <laughs> you make so them worse? I've stopped trying because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, it's like laundry. I'm only going to make it worse. What? That's convenient. It is convenient. <laughs> oh, my head. <laughs> <laughs> that was because somehow I was doing laundry for years before you came around. But now that you're here, I will screw up laundry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real convenient. Anyway, if you're not sure and you, your, your smart handle straps have gotten twisted and you're like, oh, my God, I have to take this whole thing apart and fix it. And it's not working. And it's, it's not that hard. You you don't need to take it apart. Um, so like, don't don't do that. Watch yes. this video. Untwist simple, them. Simple video. You will feel so much better. Yes. Unless unless you're like me, I'm simpler than the video. <laughs> <laughs> they also have tips on uh, how to pair Bluetooth headphones and speakers to your tonal. Yeah, and I love this because we don't talk about this a lot. But, you know, you might not want to listen to the radio stations that come packed in, in tonal. You might not want to listen to Apple Music with tonal. So I love this because you can actually Bluetooth most wireless headphones and speakers so you can stream all the tonal audio right into your preferred audio device. Now, this is great because if you have a tonal in a room, some people have them in their bedroom, some people have them in their kitchen. It's not always like their dining room area. It's not always convenient to be able to like have the audio playing because right. other people are around. Sure. So it's great to have the option to put them into like, you know, your headphones and then you can hear and you can still do your thing, still do your whole workout. Very um, easy. Or maybe you want to crank it oh god yeah and you like the speaker on your fancy sonos or something yeah your you, sonos move yeah, like yeah. You, you can uh you you can do that instead of the speaker that's built into the tonal it's uh that sonos move is pretty amazing is i'm pretty not spiffy. gonna lie yeah but it's very easy very easy to follow these directions it's just six steps and basically it's just clicking things so anybody can do it even me we had some uh, tonal community members participating in the New York City Marathon. We did. Jennifer Byers, Chris Bannon, Chris Bannon Klesig, and Matt Badger. And, and Eric, Eric Castro. And Eric Castro. I thought you were going to skip him because he wasn't... He wasn't tagged. He wasn't clickable. Yes, he was not clickable, but I did see his name there. And uh, all of them were in... They were participating in the New York City Marathon 
Sunday. And so uh, I hope everyone had a great run. I hope it went the way that you wanted it to. And I can't wait to hear all the results. So I want to see this posted in the official Tonal community. Also, Coach Natalie had a, uh, a special message for members of the XXL Tonal community. Yeah, she is doing a live chat on November 9th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And it is in, uh, it is in like you said, the XSL, XXL community. She is going to be chatting with Coach Pablo as well. And they are going to be discussing how fitness encouragement can hit differently for the XXL community. What a great topic. Absolutely. Because I think there are a lot of times people think they're tr- they're trying to be helpful or motivating and it just comes out awful. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's hard to simultaneously be thoughtful of every single person and how it could possibly hit them. So totally. I love that they are ta- talking about this. Absolutely. The winners from the October challenge have been announced. Yeah. So this was the bingo board, if you remember. Yes. And uh, there was several winners. They were randomly selected. So says Kate. And uh, they. <laughs> you sound skeptical. I mean, I'm just Are saying. You, you didn't win a, little a bit. t-shirt or something? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. Uh, but you get, they got $100 to the gear shop like a little credit code. And uh, let's see, we had Rachel Remington, Scott McDonald, Heather Ahmed, Sharon King Thompson, Chantel James Carter, Armand Kroom, Selena Andrea, David Leonard, Arun Kumar, and Don Carter. Congrats to all of you for completing your tonal bingo board and being lucky enough to be selected winners. That's awesome. Absolutely. And finally, one more tip that I should have included in the tip portion, but I didn't. <laughs> well, here it is. Here it is. Who doesn't like a surprise tip? <laughs> oh, Tom. What? No. It's just a tip. As long as it's consensual. <laughs> uh, each each tonal membership includes unlimited household accounts. And they talk you through, Kate talks you through how to add or remove an account on the trainer. So that, you know, you everybody in your family can have an account. You never know when somebody's going to want to pop down there yeah. and, and try it out. Maybe do a, a class or two or like Tom, hide for a year under somebody <laughs> else's account. You it never can, know. It happens. It, it does. I've heard. It happens. Yeah. And uh, and then it's just as easy to remove them. Uh, and uh, Why are you going to remove me? Not you. Oh. Just in general. When you when you come out of the tonal closet then you and get finally removed. use your, your real name. You can get rid of your <laughs> Mr. X tonal account. Or Brian too. Yes. <laughs> or Brian too. <laughs> oh, very cool. Checking in with the tonal community. So uh, there have been a lot of changes recently with tonal and the social aspect. Yes. And so they were kind enough to give us access to Mark Allen, who's here to explain it all to us. He is the director of analyzing market growth and product (laughs) stuff. Nailed it. Yep. Yeah. That's what it says on your business card. <laughs> it's actually an index card because your job title is so long. All I know is he's a director. He's a big wig over there. <laughs> I get nervous. I feel like every time they add a word to your job title, they dock you 10%. Like no, I think the, I think it's the other the, way around. the other way? Yeah. I thought it was like, here, make them feel good. Give them a longer job title. And they just, they just like. Ding! They take a little off. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, this is why they didn't send me the questions in advance. <laughs> They're bringing the heat. Yeah, we have to We have to say that uh, we totally put Mark on the spot. Usually I'm very organized and I send out this list and it's like, here's here's how the interview is going to go. Here's what to expect. And um, yeah, total, totally didn't do that. So uh, we are really putting Mark on the hot seat today. So yes. uh, bear with us. <laughs> there will be lots of this fixed in editing. Our, fixing our stuff. Yeah, our stuff. Yeah. Uh, awesome. uh, so I guess let's just start with like, Tell us about all there's like tons of of new ways to interact on your tonal. Yeah. Tell tell us about like well, actually, I think I want to change Tom's Todd t- Okay. I want to change that. What what exactly like inspired the social changes? And then you can go into what they are. Yeah. So part of it is that we like have a very vibrant Facebook community group. 
that is super inspiring and full of like great stories and good questions and people connecting with each other. And we wanted to bring some of that experience to Tonal itself uh, because there's not like a lot of things I miss about going to the gym. But one thing I do miss is like just seeing people that I recognize going I know, on my way in and on my way in and on my way out giving my high five or seeing what they're up to or like bragging about the far and few between achievements I have there, you know, just being able to like have that, that interaction with people and tonal is great. And I have like a lot of achievements. I have like numbers I can share and like workouts I complete that I want to share with people. So this is kind of a way to start bringing that element to tonal itself. That's awesome. And so uh, let's see if I can rename what they are. We've got, we've got now that there's on the app, you can like follow each other. That's, that's yes. one of the big changes. And now um, you can see in the feed what other people have done with their workouts. And then you can kind of like emote on it. So you can say you liked it, you loved it. It's really strong. Um, and, and like give, so you're giving feedback, you're giving encouragement to people and you can do that same thing on the trainer. If I remember correctly, there's like a little scrolling, like news feed on your trainer now that shows everybody following that you're following. Yeah. Yeah. That's you basically, uh, got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you don't need me at all. <laughs> you are now the director of market growth analytics. <laughs> products <laughs> no but like what goes into that kind of change how does that even how does that even like come to fruition is that like months and months of work it's probably not just like let's just add this it's not a little yeah point. there was there was a lot of work that went into it there's a great team uh that worked on it, designers and engineers and product people and all, all sorts everybody in the company basically helped out but this one specifically like the challenge wasn't necessarily so much a technical challenge there was a big design challenge we wanted to design the right experience for users because there's obviously there's tons of examples of like social networking on online we didn't want to bring like facebook onto tonal because that would be like kind of a bummer in a lot of ways and not, <laughs> yeah like, it, like yeah so we wanted to like find like what's the right experience for you when you're like standing in front of your tunnel about to work out or you just finish your workout or when you're in the mobile app and how do people want to interact with each other in in a, a, a tonal context so there's a lot of thought and research and experimentation that went into that so um i remember that the day that it came out kate posted that it was like here's a challenge for everybody let's try to get what was it uh 25,000 70 it, it was like a it was 15,000 followers yeah okay and, and, and it was supposed to be within 24 hours. And then like, like an hour later, she was like, oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny because that was when like Kate and I had talked about the, the day before we were trying to figure out what the right number is because we had no idea because this is all brand new on Tonal. Sure. And with like social networks, you have network effects. So one person can follow hundreds or thousands of people. And so, you know, you could like, we were worried like, we initially had said it at 10,000, like, is 10,000 way too high? Like, what if nobody uses this and we're like embarrassed mm -hmm. by it? And so we thought, well, 15, 10,000 might be kind of on the low side. Let's, let's be aggressive and go for 15,000. And then within 24 hours, we had tripled it. <laughs> nice. so, yeah. It's like the good kind of problem that you love having, you know? Yeah. Crushed it. <laughs> so there are all sorts of different ways you can react to people's workouts like pre-programmed yes. so that way it's great because it like it's uh it's not because it weeds out jerks well, yeah there's know? no there's no <laughs> negative it's, response so like that's it's still good. the internet so we have to weed out jerks so that's been accomplished so here's what i think you should do uh oh <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you should have it translated based on their the music that they're listening to right so like if the if you say good job and they're listening to a country playlist instead of getting a good job they'll get like a yeehaw <laughs> and then like if they're listening to an 80s right and then they'll get like a bitchin <laughs> So that's that's a free idea for tonal. I, you can take that back to the office and just pretend like it's yours <laughs> and you'll be like the super director of growth management product stuff. Noted. I'm writing that one down. Yeah. <laughs>
I don't. You don't appear to be writing anything. I mean, your hands aren't in frame, but I would think I'd see some movement in the shoulders. Maybe you just have very, very tight cursive. That's what I'm gonna assume is going on. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. That sounds like a programming nightmare that you just came up with there, Tom. I'm an idea guy. The people, the yeah. people in programming, is, they make it happen. That's yeah. Their, yeah. Their <laughs> well so so how did you guys land on what those reactions would be though i feel like that had to have been a discussion <laughs> oh yeah it was quite a few we tried a bunch uh we started off with like maybe just one reaction that worked for everything but you know you gotta be a little more expressive than just one and what would yeah. that one reaction be so yeah uh this set we felt covered the entire spectrum of human communication uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but these these five reactions all you know di different levels of encouragement or enthusiasm or exclamation so it gives people a little bit of uh, a chance to to customize it uh, my favorites are you're on fire and the strength one like i feel like mm -hmm. you know i feel like people get me when they send me the little the little arm guy and uh and the little fire i'm like yeah i am on a fiery streak this is awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> my, my default is the clap I like to use oh. that one a lot to applaud people, but I also like if I see people have like four of the five, I'll just get that fifth one for them because it's really satisfying. It is. It is <laughs> yeah. to collect the whole set. Yeah, you have yeah. a good point. Actually, I feel like now I need to start doing that. That's that's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what you want to hear. Your your wife wants to get the clap. What happened? <laughs> What? Tom, no, <laughs> no. no. As, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I know who I'm talking to. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay, another free idea. Uh oh. <laughs> On April 1st, you should be able to go in and make somebody's weight heavier. <laughs> Just sneak in and like everything goes up 10 pounds. That's another free idea. I can tell I by your stunned silence, you are amazed at just what a machine I am. I for think ideas. you made him speechless, Tom. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. I thought you were going to go in a different direction with uh, the April I did idea, too. I will save that idea for April 1st. So. <laughs> 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 okay. okay. He's, he's really uh, good at, at, at <laughs> pretending like he's taking things in. <laughs> And then Tom, um, I really hope Tom, I really hope you work out on April first. That's all. Oh. I'm say. <laughs> I feel like just on your machine, yeah, there's going to be me. somebody flipping you off. Be me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of funny. What? <laughs> For a minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you guys can, can? Do we get to know how long you've been working on it? Um. I mean, we've been talking about it for a long time. Like, I think almost as soon as Tall and launched, there was like, hey, what I want to be able to like, share my workouts with the people I'm working out with. Wow. But we, we needed to wait a little bit till Tall was at a place where like we had enough people using it to make it feel like a really vibrant community. So oh, it's yeah. been in the works, you know, a long time. And now it's like, now it was ready. So that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. And um, what what kind of response are you guys seeing from the community? it's good it's been it's been much uh bigger than we expected like we thought people would like it like i know when we were testing it internally before we released it i loved it like i was using it all the time not just because i was working on it but because it was motivating i was like finding new workouts to do and finding like out how my friends were working out which was pretty exciting but the response we've seen since launch has been uh great like people are using it to to find new programs and workouts that they hadn't known about before we had two people find each other who were neighbors and they, <laughs> and they found each other through the, the social uh features and realized like oh you have a tunnel oh you have a tunnel and so um that was like, did they recognize profile pictures or so it was in Kate's uh, Facebook post when she posted the challenge. There, people were posting their usernames. They're like, "Oh, follow me in my username." And two people had posted, and they recognized that they were Facebook friends. Okay. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so cool! And now they're married. <laughs> no, that's next year. Okay. <laughs> it's only been out like a month, Tom. So. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just know. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know, you you bring up a good point. Um, I feel like when I see that feed and it pops up on my my phone, I start going through and I'm like, uh, who did what today? And I I'm very surprised to see the uh, variety of workouts that people do first thing in the morning. I've been really surprised at the amount of people that do uh, like yoga flows first thing in the morning and meditation at night. And it's like you get a much better idea of the depth of people's workout routines instead of just like when they chose before to post because if you're working out three times a day then you kind of feel like uh, maybe i don't need to post all of my workouts mm-hmm. on facebook <laughs> yeah yeah but that is a great example like i i have done a bigger breadth of workouts because i always usually do just like this the standard set of stuff i know that i like but seeing other people that i res- you know like i look up to I'm like oh this person knows what they're doing they're doing like a meditation workout then maybe i'll try that one and it's a great way to discover new things that you might not have been recommended otherwise i totally agree with that and um and i i think it's really funny because um i made tom sign up for it and then um actually i followed him and uh and then other people started following him yeah, because they found, they, they found him through mine my followers and he was like why are all these people following me rah, 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 rah. <laughs> came up to like, came up to like six <laughs> <laughs> I know it was like not even that many people, <laughs> but he's, he, he was just a little, he thought that they had found him some other way, but it was just through me. Well, it's not like it's hard to find me. No. My, my leaderboard name is Tom O'Keefe. Like I'm yes. not like being super secretive since I finally changed my name from my son's name. People didn't know I was doing it because I was being secretive. Yeah. yeah he so. didn't, he didn't know how to change it after a long time. It was like that for a long, yeah, long time. Yeah. Even after I, I like came out and started telling people, I still, I was like, I don't know how to change it. This is too much work. I would always start. And then I'd be like, I, I don't want to like, this is too difficult. And then I would stop. So, yeah. but so far I'm following two people. So I hope I'm one of them. You are. Okay. Yes. Phew. Uh, yeah. It's Shoot. you and Kate. Okay. All right. That, those are good too to follow. If you're going to pick two, yeah. that's, yeah. 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 Mark's a little hurt now, but you I'm know. sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, Tom, I do follow you, so it is kind of awkward now. <laughs> okay. Give me my phone. What's, what's your leaderboard name, Mark? Uh, it's Mark Tron. M-A-R-K-T-R-O-N. There you go. Oh, you like you like the Tron movies? Uh, well, I do, but I did Yeah. <laughs> That was the connection I had made. My oh, video. sorry. I'm a nerd. Should, so it automatically that's, goes that's back to one. video <laughs> yeah. games and movies. So yeah. hang on. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the app. What's it called? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, put your glasses on, but they're already on. I know I need glasses <laughs> for my glasses, but I am curious. What was the, uh, what, if it wasn't Tron, the movies, where did Mark Tron come from? Oh, well, I think it was cause I was, a. Uh, I, I really like the the rap group Outcast and Andre yeah. 3000 sounds like an awesome feature robot kind of so I'm like oh like Mark Tron's kind of close okay so yeah I, I think that's where it started but it's like a, just a generic username I've used on the internet for decades so totally I yeah. like that I uh whenever Tom first got his fixed I um I made him tonal Tom and he did not like that so he immediately I, changed I it. changed it because I thought like it sounded like I work for tonal oh yeah yeah and I'm like it's- I did, but you know, so I was, I, I felt like I was overstating my, my tonalness yeah. by claiming to be tonal Tom. I, right? I get that. And so yeah. I, I, I didn't, I just felt like that was a bridge too far. I mm-hmm. didn't want to overstate it. So I tried to just do Tom, but someone already beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. My biggest regret is like, I had access to this feature before it launched because I was working on it. Right. I didn't yeah. grab Mark. Like, well, I don't yeah, know why didn't I was... you grab Mark? It was, I don't know. It was an oversight, obviously. And now somebody <laughs> has it. So good for them. <laughs> you know what the really sad part is? His name's not even Mark. <laughs> he did it just to spite you. <laughs> wow. It's Ken in accounting. <laughs> 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 so um now do you guys think that there do you think that in the future we will see evolutions of the social features that are out there oh absolutely this is just like the first step like this is going to be something we're on for years and years um we know that others you know the the reaction that people had to this launch was really great and people want to be able to do a lot more so we're, we're working on that stuff right now there's going to be a lot more coming in the near future 
Ooh, near future. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you any, wanna... any sneak previews? Yeah. Is there anything you can just, you know, just, just anything? Well, we, I mean, we do like one thing. We, I mean, we don't get into too many specifics sure, because sure. you know we don't know. You want to exactly surprise when people, but yeah, maybe yeah. a little hint in a direction. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I will also say this: if you change your mind, we can cut this out. That's right. Oh, okay. Um, no, but we, <laughs> we are very excited about like letting people comment on each other's posts and leave commenting on your own workouts and doing things like uploading your your profile photo and things like that. So. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So that, those like are all in, in the works. Okay. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what, what has been like the most surprising part of all of this process? Um, I am. So honestly, like I am really shocked at how strong people are. <laughs> because, <laughs> like seeing individual people's workouts and their results it's just like it, it blows my mind because I like I know I I mean I obviously work with a lot of strong people who've been using Tomo for a couple of years and so yeah. I get that but like just seeing people in the community and, and the stuff that they're doing it, it's really impressive um, like I love seeing people's journeys over long periods of time but even on individual workouts like workouts I have done and I can compare it to it's very humbling for me I would agree with uh, I would agree with that and I have found through like. Like I could always justify whenever I was on Peloton in the first generation of bike because because they had like everybody had a little bit of a different calibration. Right. And um, but like I can't justify that with Tonal. I was like, no, that just <laughs> that just is what it is. Yeah, that's all those people doing 10,000 pound workouts. That's not me. Yeah, that's I'm just not that strong yet <laughs> <laughs> so is, is that easy to spot the like the new hires? Tonal. <laughs> they're not they're not jacked yet they're like oh, the, the easiest way to spot a new hire at tonal is that they everybody gets super excited and does like eight workouts in four days and gets hurt and then they can't move <laughs> I mean, they, they don't get hurt they just get really sore, they get sore yeah. Yeah, that, that eagerness like it happens to everybody so <laughs> all that adrenaline gets them going yeah, is yeah. you like a hundred they're like a hundred thousand pounds lifted in, in 24 hours and then they're like oh dang <laughs> so what was the uh the biggest challenge in getting all this uh situated and set up it was yeah the biggest challenge is just finding the right balance of like sharing versus privacy uh because oh, yeah. there's something we were really concerned about because we didn't want to like like people's workout time is very sacred to them. It's like something that is very personal. And we didn't want to start just start blasting that all over the internet if that's right. not something they wanted, right? So finding that balance was like, we did a lot of user testing and a lot of user interviews and a lot of prototyping to help figure out what that right balance was. And what we ended up with is like, you have a lot of control over what you share. So when you make a public profile, you can hide or show any of those items. So if you don't want to show like the days of the week you work out, you can hide your calendar. If you don't want to show your strength score, you can hide that. Same with like location. All of that stuff can be customized to whatever you're comfortable with sharing, even to like to the point where you can choose which you can choose to share workouts or not. Like if you don't want people seeing that you're doing specific workouts, those can be hidden. So I'm really glad you brought that up because uh, especially since I had made the comment about Tom's leaderboard name, you know, it, I don't want people to think that they don't have control over that. And I'm we're pretty open. So we kind of leave everything out there. But a lot of there are a lot of people that don't like you said, it's it's sacred to them. They don't want people just knowing all of their information. So I'm I'm really glad you brought that up. Are there other are there other factors like that that maybe aren't obvious to people who, you know, they're not going in and changing all the settings? Is there anything else like that 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 maybe people haven't dug into? Um, I don't think so. Like we we said it so that you have to choose to turn these features on. So they're okay. off by default. So if you don't give it any thought, you don't know they exist, you're not going to accidentally be opted into them. And when you go to turn them on, we walk you through each step. So we ask you, like, do you want this on? Do you want this on? Do you want these notifications? So it's, uh, I, I think we did a pretty good job of striking that balance. But, and again, this is something people can edit at any time. Like there may be people listening right now who are like, oh, I didn't know about that. And they're reaching for their <laughs> phone to change their settings. But it's something you can always adjust it at, at any time. And isn't it, um, if I remember correctly, like the leaderboard names kind of came first. So you you have to have a leaderboard name before you can be part of this. Is that accurate? Sort of. Uh, yeah, the leaderboards did come first. That was like our first dip in the social waters. And you did have to have a username for that. And now the username is tied to your profile. 
so that's where you set and change your username that also reflects on the leaderboard. Okay. Okay. Tom, you look like you were going to say something. I had a new free idea and then I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> new free idea. Okay. So for people that like to share their workouts for a small fee, I'm generating revenue now. I'm generating right. revenue right. for Tonal is what I'm doing. <laughs> for a small fee, you'll say that they lifted more weight than they actually did. For a small fee? When you, when you share it. Like, right? Like for, for like an extra 10 bucks a month, they bump all your totals by like 15% because you got to make it realistic, right? If you go 100%, people are going to be like, bullshit. <laughs> but if you do like 15%, they'll be like, well, I could see that, right? You got to keep it realistic. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> Mark is like the nicest person ever. Yeah. It's like, these ideas are free and worth I, at least double that. <laughs> <laughs> so um in the age of covid has it been has it been like difficult to kind of like you know collaborate with people to come up with these kinds of ideas is that or is it like you guys have your remote work down and it's no big deal um a little of both like we have gotten really good at it it is still kind of difficult sometimes but um it's overall we, i think as a company we've gotten pretty good at working remotely like we have people like i'm i'm in toronto and the designer on this project was in san francisco the engineers were scattered all over the place from like hawaii all the way to maine literally so um it's pretty wow. broad spectrum yeah yeah so tell me about this hawaii position <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to get more info on that one myself. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's in Canada. No wonder he's been so nice when I say all this dumb stuff. <laughs> oh, Tom. <laughs> what Canadians are nice. Is that offensive now? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know. It's stereotyping though. <laughs> but they won't say anything because they're so nice. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we would apologize, right? right. <laughs> yeah. <It's a> story. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you uh, always lived in Canada? No, I'm actually American. I moved here uh, five years ago. Okay, with, I guess I didn't my, hear an accent. Wife. That's why I no, was that's... asking. <laughs> Good try, Tom. <laughs> so have you gotten used to all the widespread panic yet? The band. Oh. oh tragically uh, hip? Do you I, like do, I do like the tragically hip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I didn't, know, I didn't know widespread panic. I think I might have got them mixed up in my head. I think, uh, I think okay. it's tragically hip. I know they're yeah. Good. They're very Canadian, yes. <laughs> so um, let's see what I want to know about your your position at Tonal. Like, are do you, how do you how does this part of what you worked on kind of fit in with the rest of what you do? Um, so it's a big part. Of it. So as a product manager, uh, like I work with our design team and our engineering team and customer support team and marketing to figure out like what are the needs of our members that aren't being met yet and how can we so solve those so we this was like an area where like we recognize that like well people really want to have a sense of community and really want to interact with each other so how can we solve that in a way that works both for them and for us as a company and so you could you know when we had when we recognize the problem that solution could go in like a hundred different directions and so part of the product manager's job is to kind of help narrow that down with, along with the designers and engineers and the rest of the team so i feel like that would be fun to kind of interact with people and figure out almost like a detective to figure out the best solution. Sorry, Tom, I didn't mean to cut no, you No, you're fine. I was gonna. <laughs> so what, um, what, what led you to total? Like what, how do you end up in this field? Cause I, I like, it's not like when you were a kid, you're like, my goal <laughs> is that one day someone will invent a machine and then I will do the social management for it. Right. Like, it's like <laughs> yeah. so how did, how did you get to here? So I had previously, um, I, w I worked at my fitness pal as a product manager oh, wow. and I really loved working there. I love like, the, working in the health and fitness space is super fulfilling for me. Uh, and I like just being able to like actually build products that help people improve their lives. It's a lot of fun. And so um, after I left there, I'd gone to another startup and I, when that startup was kind of ending, I realized like what is like like the, the requirements I have for the next place I work, like it has to be in this space. And like kind of like the size of the company that Tonal was at was like right in line with where I've found I've been happiest and where I can make the biggest impact. So just kind of like checked all the boxes. Uh, and then when I talked to the team, like, because like I, I was in Canada, I hadn't seen a Tonal yet. 
because uh, they're not here. And so I, when I talked to the people on the team, I just was really impressed by everybody. And everybody I talked to, I was like, oh, I want to work with that person. They seem super nice. Um, mm-hmm. So that's how I ended up here. I, I have to say, out of everybody we've interacted with at Tonal, they've always been professional and nice and just like just seem like good people. So I that's the impression I've gotten from everybody we've ever talked to. I hope that's yeah. true. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's what I and that's what I experienced like when I joined the company. Like everybody was like just as nice as they were during the interview process. So I got I felt like I got really lucky. So do they smuggle a tonal up there for you? Can you say? <laughs> It was, it, I wouldn't like, say it was, it was smuggled, but it was like a three month process. Okay. So, uh, and I was like very nervous because I was working at the company for like three months before I got the tonal and, uh, oh. and before I saw it, I'm like, what if this isn't actually very good? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> that would be, that would be intimidating. Like yeah. it looks good in the videos, but you know, that could all be faked. And so when they finally like got to my house and bolted it onto my wall and did my, I did my first workout. It was a, like better than I expected. I was like, oh. like oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like side. internet dating. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, thank God she looks like her picture. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of similarities, but yeah, it worked out great. So yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And you ended up just a sweaty. <laughs> Tom. But if it goes well, it goes well. <laughs> Poor Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, we made you blush. <laughs> oh, I am. I didn't even notice. That's <laughs> man, it's those analytics. <laughs> uh, I'm not sharing this podcast with my mom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be like, that guy's a real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't let him follow you on the, on the tonal. She calls it the tonal, doesn't she? <laughs> That's what I uh, she, she she has called it the tonal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what what is the the best way for people to kind of get the most out of all of these new social features? How do you recommend that people maximize their impact? So people that have a tonal, obviously follow them because that that's like the best. If you know them in real life and you t- can talk to them about it, like being able to share those workouts with each other is great. Uh, if you don't have many friends who have a tonal yet. You can, uh, well, get them to buy a tonal, but also um, in the Facebook community, there's a lot of everybody in the Facebook community, I think, uh, is very active on the social uh, Facebook or sorry, on tonals, social features. So follow some of those people and see what they're doing as well, because it's a great way to discover new stuff. That's very good advice. Absolutely. And I did go and follow you. <laughs> oh, so nice. When you get done, you'll see the notification. So you're now the third person I followed. So you should be. He's very probably going to block you after you. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure. You should follow some more people. So I don't feel <laughs> quite like. Yeah, it's not. Pr- it's not pressure. It makes you special. Oh, uh, see, that's how that. That's how that works. Tom likes to reframe yes. things. Yes, yeah. I'm a reframer. <laughs> And everyone should go follow Mark Tron. Yes. So he gets more followers. So yes. everybody go find Mark Tron and follow him. And uh and but don't follow Mark because he's a jerk and he stole <laughs> Mark's design. I, I, I have to check, but I think Mark might be an employee too. So I think he's a nice guy. <laughs> I was like, let's not hate on Mark. Have you thought about changing your name to Mark with a C? <laughs> it's fa- pretty fancy. Yeah. 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 Is there a character limit? to how long a name could be there is i think it's about 18 characters okay uh, but i don't know if that's exact but it has to be at least three okay okay yeah that's that's good so to tom know. would have worked yeah if i had well yeah because it's already used you should have known yeah. that well i well i didn't know if maybe it's just saying no if it wasn't oh, long enough oh, and it okay. just was like no okay it didn't you know but yeah so well, thank you so much for joining us and giving us all this information. Is there anything important about this that you wanted to share that we did not ask you? Uh, I think we covered it all. Okay. Oh, I wait, can, I, can, can I share one of my favorite uh, secret features of the social Absolutely. Launch? We yeah, love secret absolutely. features. Absolutely. Okay. So, Crystal, you mentioned that on the trainer, there's a little carousel of activity that you can see from your friends on the home screen. But there's another part on Tonal itself. Uh, that's pretty cool. So when you're browsing content, like when you're looking at workouts and programs, you can see which of your friends have completed that workout. Oh. And uh, you can also see when you're looking at programs, 
you can see how many people are now currently enrolled in that program. Okay, so I've, I've noticed that one. I have noticed that too, and I I love that feature because um like it's really fun the community challenge. You can see all the people in the same the same one, and then like as soon as a new one drops, you see like the the numbers start to change as people finish and they move to a new one, and it's like fascinating to watch the programs that people flip in and out of and uh it's and also dang there's a lot of people on tonal (laughs) 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 which is pretty cool to see especially if you work there i'm sure you're like oh thank god (laughs) (laughs) we are happy to see it yes yeah That's a good call out. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, we love secret features. We do. We do. So, well, thank you so much for joining us. We always ask people where they can be found if they want to be found. I don't know if you want to be found or not. So, well, I mean, you can find me on Total. Right. Uh, Mark Tron. Mark Tron. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely we will do that and uh thank you again and um if um if you do think of any more secret features or you get any exclusives, let us you know. know, let us yeah. know. <laughs> or if we implement any of Tom's great ideas. Yes. 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 <laughs> Got to know that. Absolutely. <laughs> well, awesome. thank you for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you. Well, I guess that brings this episode to a close. Until next time, where can people find you? People can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Crystal D. O'Keefe. They can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and the Tonal Leaderboard at Clip Out Crystal. And you can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. You can find the show online at facebook.com slash Superset Podcast. While you're there, like the page, join the group. And of course, don't forget our YouTube channel, which is called youtube.com slash The Clip Out, but you can watch all of these shows uh, instead of merely listening to them. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep lifting. The Superset is made possible in part by support from Tonal.